In the UFC, sometimes the shorter a fight is, the more exciting it turns out to be. Nothing is more impressive than watching a skilled mixed martial artist take down their opponent in mere seconds. Don't take our word for it. Let's check out some of the fastest knockouts in UFC history. This is Ultimate MMA. The first to make it on our list is the Korean zombie himself, Chan Sung Jung, at UFC 140. Sung Jung was facing the former featherweight title contender Mark Hominick, who was known for his excellent boxing combinations. The Korean zombie, however, had a reputation for always putting on the pressure and always pushing forward. Sung Jung's powerful right hand immediately knocked Hominick to the floor, resulting in a knockout in seven seconds. This earned him the honor of knockout of the night and the number five spot on our list. And here is Joe Rogan with Chan Sung Jung. All right, Jung. I'm here with the winner. Very happy Chan Sung Jung. Congratulations. What a, a spectacular and quick, decisive victory. Did you expect that coming in? Uh, he's always expecting you to do a good win, but have a great win, but uh, yeah, he feels great. Now, Mark Hominick is known as an outstanding striker. What was the game plan coming in here tonight? Hominick is normally a striker, but I know that the strength was not in the game. I didn't KO once, so I was not a striker. I will show you the best striker in the world. Just because I've been knocked out one time doesn't mean I'm a great striker. I think I'm one of the best strikers in the world. We can't wait to see what the Korean zombie brings to the octagon next time. Ryan, the big deal Jimmo is the kind of fighter you want to see win just to see his victory dance. Jimmo made his UFC debut at UFC 149 against fellow light heavyweight Anthony Peroche. The Canadian came in fast with a jab and a right cross, knocking Peroche to the ground in just under seven seconds, making it number four on our list. After the win, we were blessed by witnessing the signature Jimmo robot dance. Tragically, in 2016, Ryan Jimmo got into a heated conversation with a truck driver. As Jimmo walked away, he was run over by that driver who was caught and charged with second degree murder. We hope the Big Deal's legacy will be remembered for years to come. I am here with Ryan Jimmo, and Ryan, you cannot make a more spectacular debut than that. You just tied the record for the fastest knockout in UFC. How does that feel, man? I know you've worked long and hard to get to this moment. Tell us what's going on right now. I'm very happy, Joe. I'm very happy. Hi, Mom. I love you. Todd, the Irish car bomb Dufay is not a heavyweight fighter you would want to underestimate. Of the nine wins Dufay has under his belt, he's gone nine for nine by way of the knockout. That's 100% for those of you who are bad at math. It was no surprise Dufay would go in for the kill at UFC 102 versus Tim Hague. And Todd Duffy shook his head, no. Well, you know what, they're touching now. Looking Todd to finish Duffy, a fight. Over. And over. it is all over! The Irish car bomb took down Hague in under seven seconds, making it the fastest heavyweight knockout to this day, and landing the number three spot on our list. According to Dufay, all it takes is hard work, but having a great stiff jab probably helps too. Our number two entry was a bout between welterweights Dwayne Bang Ludwig and Jonathan Goulet, who were set to battle at UFC Fight Night 3 in Las Vegas. Unsurprisingly, the fight didn't last long. Really interesting. Oh, big. Ludwig came in with a right hand, knocking Goulet down mere seconds into the first round. The official timekeeping on the finish was 11 seconds, 
but fans insist that the referee pulled Ludwig away at the six second mark. Because of this technicality, Bang's fastest knockout was deemed unofficial. That being said, Dana White himself considers this a record setting knockout. So we'll listen to the boss man on this one. Now what's next for you, Dwayne? Is it more kickboxing, more MMA? I mean, what, what, what are you gearing towards for your future? I, I want to stay in the UFC. If the fans want me here, I'd love to be here. You know, I got to thank Goulet, man. I was scared to death to fight this guy, man. You know, I'm scared to death for every fight, but uh, hey, I'd like to thank some sponsors. Just playing, Dana. I'm just playing. <laughs> Our number one spot goes to Jorge Masvidal and his legendary flying knee. At UFC 239, he made history with the fastest knockout ever in the UFC. The welterweight bout was set to pit Masvidal's striking ability up against the wrestling skills of Ben Askren. As soon as the bell rings, Askren shoots in for the takedown, when Masvidal launches a flying knee to the side of his head. Askren went low and Masvidal went high, knocking out his opponent in spectacular fashion just five seconds into the first round. But let's take a look at it here. Did you know that he was going to try to duck down? Because as you time that, I mean, that is as perfect a flying knee as has ever been executed on planet Earth. That, that dude was talking wild, man. You know, I had to show him that there's consequences sometimes. There's some bad mother out there and you don't want to wake him up. You should have kept your mouth shut. I probably would have beat you up in the second round, you know, but uh, I'm so happy, though. I just want to thank God again for this journey. I'm coming for that belt. I don't know who's fighting next for it or whatnot, but you guys know who deserves that belt. That's 16 years of hard work. You guys know who deserves that belt, man. I'm here. This earned Masvidal a performance of the night award, along with 2019 Knockout of the Year awards from multiple MMA news outlets. This flying feat is still incredible to witness and one of our personal favorite knockouts of all time. Will anyone ever score a knockout to beat Masvidal's five seconds? Are there any speedy knockouts that we missed? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe. Until next time, this is Ultimate MMA.